Hello, Lofi Guy here. In this video, we are going to create a breadcrumb component using React.js. You don't know what a breadcrumb component is? Well, it's just this, this that you're seeing right here. We will just be creating the presentation layer of this component. What I mean by that is that we're just gonna create what you see here, just the visuals. It won't clicking on any of these crumbs won't do anything. It won't, you won't be able to remove or add breadcrumbs. But if you would like to see how to do that, I will create a second part. Just let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's get started. Go to your terminal and just create a React project. npm init react app, and I'm just gonna call it crumbs. So the first thing we need to do, aside from opening our project in Visual Studio Code, we need to go back to our terminal and install Bootstrap, just like so. Once that's installed, you can go to the blog tutorial and find the import for Bootstrap. Just copy that. Go into source index.js and simply paste that here and save. And now you have Bootstrap. Now we're going to create the breadcrumb component. First, create a new folder inside of the source folder and call it components and create a new file. And just simply call it breadcrumb.js. For this component, I am going to use functional components. Usually I use class components, but everybody has been complaining about the fact that I use class components still. So because of that, I will use functional components for this tutorial. So as always, just import react from react. And then let's go ahead and create our functional component called breadcrumb it's going to take in some props and of course it's going to return something and what that something is because it's a component it's going to return dom elements okay so now i'm just going to go ahead before i forget to export this so export default breadcrumb and for this part i'm just gonna kind of code this out I may explain some small things along the way but the more bigger things I'll explain after I get the code typed out here. Okay, so put a nav element in here. Give it some styles. These are going to be bootstrap styles. So row justify content center. This just centers the content. And then a margin top of four, which just kind of gets the breadcrumb further away from the top of the screen. Inside of that, put a ordered list. This ordered list will also have some styles. It will have the breadcrumb style, which is also bootstrap. And then it's also going to have an inline style that we create ourselves. And we'll just call that breadcrumb as well. So now we actually need to create this inline style. So we can just go up here and say const breadcrumb equals an object inside that object is where you define all of the styles so we're gonna have a background color of white we'll have a border of one pixel solid lines and then we'll do rgba and inside of that we'll do zero 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 and then 0.125 for the opacity. And then the last style we will add is border radius of let's say 0.37 rem, which just makes the breadcrumb component a bit more round. Okay, now go back to here, put some brackets, and inside say props.crumbs.map. And inside of there, for each crumb, we are going to return 
some DOM elements. So originally, I thought I was going to type this all out and then explain it afterwards, but now I think I prefer to just do it as we go. Also, I just realized this is not maximized and I'm sorry about that. So what you're seeing here is that we're gonna have some props passed into our breadcrumb component when we use it in app.js. And one of those props is called crumbs. Crumbs is simply an array of strings. And for each string, each crumb, we're going to return some DOM elements that will be displayed on the screen. But we need to do one thing before we do the inside of this return. So the last crumb, we want that to look like this. We want the last crumb to not be clickable and we want it to kind of be dull. So we need to do that in code. Okay, so we need to create a method. Let's create this method right here. And we're going to call it is last. And it's going to take in the index of a crumb. Inside, we're just going to say return index equals props dot crumbs dot length minus one. And all this is saying is if this is the last crumb based on the index, then use a certain style. We haven't done the style part, so let's do that now. So right down here, say const disabled equals is last, pass in a crumb index, which we actually need to do that. So we have the crumb here. If you want the crumb index, just put a comma and say CI. And you can name that anything, but it's always the second argument here that is the index. So we pass that in to our is last method. And if it is the last crumb, then give the disabled variable a value of a string called disabled. Otherwise, just give it an empty string. And the reason we're doing this here is we're going to have a dynamic style, which you will see in just a second. Okay, now inside of return, put a list element. That was not a list element. <laughs> inside of here, put a list element. And then on there, we're gonna have a few different things. So since we're using map here, React requires us to put a key on the parent element here. So just do a key and pass the Chrome index into it and it will make React happy. Then we're going to give this thing some more bootstrap styles. So breadcrumb item and align items center. If you're wondering how I know about what styles to use, I literally just Google bootstrap breadcrumb and you can get figure out all the styles you need. Okay, inside of this list item, create a button. On that button, of course, again, we're going to give it some styles. This one is going to have a dynamic style. So first, put the bootstrap style of button and button link. And then, to add the dynamic style using the variable up here, just do dollar sign and then brackets and say disabled. So if this is the last breadcrumb, it'll be disabled. Otherwise, it'll be an empty string and it will not be disabled. Now, put a on click handler and pass it in an arrow function and then props dot selected, which is also a function which you just simply pass in the value of the crumb to. So that may be a little bit confusing, but what we're gonna do is pass in an actual function as a prop to our breadcrumb component. And whenever a crumb is clicked, it calls that method, which we will actually define later. And then the last thing for this file is just to do this. 
so that the name of our Chrome is actually being displayed on the screen. Okay, now go to app.js, uh, remove any nonsense that's in there, like so. First thing I'd like to do is we need to import something called use state, which is a React hook, which allows you to store data. So now we're going to create our breadcrumbs and we actually use use state to do that. So say const crumbs and then set crumbs. We won't actually be using this method, but we will be using our crumbs variable here. And then say equals use state. And then this is where you define your array of crumbs. So I'm just gonna say home category and a third one, I'll make it subcategory. So just in case I didn't make it clear, this crumbs value will equal this array of strings. Now let's go ahead and create that method we were talking about earlier. So const selected equals crumb. And then we don't, we're not actually even gonna use this method here. So I'll just put a console log. The reason I am creating this is because if I was making the functionality of the breadcrumbs where you could add breadcrumbs or remove breadcrumbs, this is where you would do the action to do that. So this pretty much just sets you up for that part. Now go down here, we're gonna add one more bootstrap style, the container and then we can put our actual breadcrumb right down here. You see that it automatically imported it for me. Make sure if it doesn't do that for you, make sure you import it like so. And then we need to pass in some props. So pass in our crumbs like that. And then pass in our selected method like that. And with that, we should be able to save everything and then go to our terminal, say npm start. And if we go to our browser, we have a breadcrumb. And like I said earlier, we aren't using that selected method, but we could use it to add or remove crumbs if we wanted to. For example, we have it set so if you click on it, then it will log the name of that crumb to the console here. So when I click, there it is. It gets logged to the console. So that method is exactly where you would do any functionality to remove or add crumbs. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you out. If so, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.